the CFM56 jet engine is a combined design of the General Electric CF6 and the Snecma M56 jet engines. These designs are French and American in origin. The CFM56 jet engine has a middle rotating hub with 36 cap nuts. An inner rotating hub with 9 cap nuts. And a propeller with 24 fan blades. This jet engine is primarily used on Airbus 320 planes as well as its rival Boeing 737. In this tutorial video, we will be drawing a repeated pattern like AutoCAD or Automatic Computer Aided Drafting. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. The first thing we should do in drawing a jet engine is to draw one of the 24 fan blades. We select free form shape and then draw through the edges of a fan blade. Okay, we have drawn already a fan blade. We should set its gradient fill with a darker shade to the left and a lighter tint to the right. We should also do the same for the gradient line. That the right side will be lighter and the left one will be darker. We duplicate it and invert its duplicate to 180 degrees. We group them together so that we can duplicate it 12 times to form 24 fan blades. As we duplicate the pair of fan blades 12 times, we should set it to different rotations in intervals of 15, as multiplying that number would result in a product of 180. 15 times 12 equals 180. When we join these 12 pairs of fan blades together, we should make sure that each of them is aligned at the center.
We're joining the 12 pairs of fan blades into one giant propeller. As you can see, we now have drawn 24 blades to form one giant turbofan. This time, we will be drawing one of the circles that joins these 24 fan blades together. We will choose a tint of gray. For this one. It looks like silver. Then we make sure its height and width are of this, the same amount. So that it looks like a perfect circle. And once both of them have been set to the same amount, we should lock the aspect ratio. So whether you're enlarging or reducing this circle, it would remain the same shape. We've duplicated a smaller circle. And we chose a darker one for the inner one that contains the swirl and then we draw an outer ring to furthermore secure these 24 fan blades together so that none of these fan blades will be dismantled when the jet engine will spin very fast in mid-air for the middle circle we draw the three dots that are basically very small white circles we copy it after we move those three dots inside the silver middle circle We group them together so that we can duplicate it with different rotations and thus those three dots will surround the entire silver circle. We've just formed six dots that are three adjacent dots in f across each other we've just selected 30 and 60 degrees for the rotational rate so that these dots will surround the silver circle since one fourth has been filled on ac across each other we need to duplicate it once more and select 90 degrees as its rotation so that the entire silver circle will be surrounded by white dots on the side we'll draw nine dots on the innermost circle which is darker than the outer one let's draw three dots on the side we group them together with a dark circle 
at the center so that we can duplicate it twice and form three sets of three dots that surround the swirl. Since one rotation equals 360 degrees, we set these three sets of three dots in 120, 240, and 360 degrees. In other words, in intervals of 120 degrees. We're now joining these components together to form one spinning object. We draw a curve to form a swirl at the centermost of the jet engine. We increase its thickness so that it will really look like the swirl inside the jet engine that is spinning at the fastest because it's at the center of the fan blades. We draw another outer circle that is white in color outside the silver one to furthermore secure these 24 fan blades that none of them would fall off when this jet engine will spin very fast while flying. This time, we're drawing a black background to be put behind these fan blades. It's a large black circle. Since we've drawn some additional components, let's regroup them with the major parts of the propeller. Let's ungroup first and then regroup them as one. Since we've drawn the black background and the turbofan We'll draw an engine cover that will surround this spinning object. We select no fill and a gradient line to be thickened where it would be lightest at the center of this ring and darkest at the sides. We chose white in the center and black at the sides because when the light is nearer, the object would appear brighter and when the object is far, it would appear darker. Based on the principles of shadowing,
Let us now resize the whole thing so that it will fit in one slide. That's it. We now have a jet engine. In the succeeding tutorial video, we will teach you how to animate this object. Spin at a certain rate in a smoothly manner.